Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Sustainable Scoop. My guest today is Jerry Ochterman. He's a seventh grader at Luther Jackson Middle School. But instead of thinking about vacation, which I'm sure you're thinking yes. of, you're also talking about a very big goal. Tell us your goal, Jerry. I've started a petition uh, for the uh, Fairfax County Public Schools to switch from their polystyrene trays that they're using uh, back to a more sustainable option. And what that option might be, we don't know. Right. But you just want them to stop using those styrofoam yes. trays. Yes, yes, that's the goal. Just once and then throwing them away. Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, you recently talked to the school board in Fairfax County, and we have your speech. So we're going to go ahead and watch it now. Great. Let's watch. I come before you uh, to speak about the process for approving the budget plan. The process should address whether the budget should include some funding for switching to non-polystyrene lunch trays in FCPS cafeterias. These trays, as you know, are sent to a facility that burns the trays for energy. That sounds good until you learn that polystyrene, or styrofoam, contains the chemicals styrene and benzene. Both are suspected carcinogens and neurotoxins, and styrene leaches into food and drink that comes into contact with it. Exposure to styrene is also linked to skin irritation, chromosomal damage, fatigue, lack of concentration, and thinking and learning disabilities. It should be self-explanatory that polystyrene is hazardous to human health. Polystyrene is also detrimental to the environment. It is petroleum-based and the second most detrimental material to Earth, according to the EPA. I did the math, and if 140,000 students in FCPS buy lunch in schools every day, that's 25,200,000 polystyrene trays that are getting burned each year, and a lot of nasty chemicals. What does this add up to? FCPS is wasting resources and polluting the environment, to say nothing of the danger they are putting every single student in by exposing them to such a dangerous material. This practice needs to be stopped. The best alternative would be purchasing reusable trays and washing them in dishwashers. But this would be difficult to do in the short term because it would have a high upfront cost, although it would be cheaper in the end since most trays would not have to continually be purchased. An alternative that could be adopted more quickly is to switch to biodegradable or compostable trays. There are many options, such as paper, cardboard, cornstarch, and even palm leaf, and the cost of purchasing them may not even be higher than polystyrene. Even if it does cost a little more money, it is better than the health costs of exposing our students, teachers, and community to the dangers of polystyrene. I have started a petition to urge the school board to phase out the use of polystyrene in our cafeterias. Hundreds of people have signed already, and I am continuing to publicize it and get more signatures. The Washington Post recently reported that six of the largest school districts in the country have stopped using polystyrene. Arlington and Montgomery County Public Schools are following suit. Fairfax County needs to be next. I hope the school board will address this urgent issue immediately for the sake of the environment and the health of students. Thank you. Jerry, that was a fantastic speech. Thank you. You cited facts, you stayed on point, and you know, what I really was touched by was you conveyed the emotion that I hear so many young people feel about how policymakers fail to protect the environment. Thank you. I was so glad I was able to do that. Now, Fairfax County is enormous. Over 200,000 yes. students um, are in the schools, and it's a gigantic county. What yes. kind of response have you gotten? Um, I've gotten a lot of uh, very good responses from signers of my petition. Tell us what they what they uh, said. Among them is there is no there is really no good reason to continue the use of polystyrene when there are so many viable ecologically sensitive alternatives. Please make the switch. Tell us another. Uh, it's horrifying that schools are still using toxic substances to feed food to children, a population that is so vulnerable to toxins. May I read one? Yes. We don't need these dangerous materials in our children's schools or landfills. Do what Jerry says. Another one, it's the 21st century. We know of better alternatives for our children's health and our planet. 
There's no excuse for having these toxic trays in our schools. All right, in this last one, it says Fairfax County should follow Arlington County and eliminate polystyrene trays from the school's lunchrooms. And I want to just correct that, yes, Arlington County has gotten rid of its styrofoam lunch trays, mm -hmm. but they still serve soup yes. in styrofoam. All right, that's all the time we have. What do we need people to do? Uh, if you've not done so already, please sign my petition online and uh, share the link to the clip on uh, your website with everyone, you know, with everyone you can and post it on Facebook and Twitter to just get more publicity for this endeavor. Because we will do that, Jerry. Thank you. We will do that. And, and viewers, so again, please go to the Sustainable Scoop on YouTube and, um, you know, look up Jerry Ackerman. I'm Miriam Gennari. That's the Sustainable Scoop. Back to the news desk.